Well, we've left Wakefield, well, on the outskirts of Wakefield. I didn't get any footage of it, unfortunately, because I was too busy trying not to hit stuff on a really wide stretch of um, canal stroke river. So I'm in my first lock now. The last one I did was open already, so um, it's just a flood lock. So I'm gonna try and do this um, myself and see how we get on, okay? Well, I put the paddle up and that's happening. So that's a good sign. It's filling up. Once it's full, I'll be able to open this door, just the one, hopefully. Get my boat in. And then go to the other paddles and bring the water level down so I can enter the next stretch. Well, this is all very surreal. So I've just done my first lock. The boat is still here, honest. And now I'm on the air and colder navigation. So I'm on a river, which is brilliant because look how wide it is. There's nothing much to hit, which is fantastic. It's just what I need at the minute. Oh, there's a duck coming. I might hit that. We'll see, you know, I'm insured. Um, I've just gone under two bridges, um, a train bridge and a road bridge. I'm just waiting for the, our next bridge, which you can, you can just see in the distance there. Uh, and then after that, I believe I go off to the left into another lock. Um, I'm not sure where I am then. I'll have to have a look at me look around and see where we're going. I'm going to get as much as I can do done tonight, uh, today. It's a lovely day, why not? Um, it's Friday night. I'm, I'm, I've got an immense night planned I'm by myself, you know. I've, I've got a prawn mayonnaise sandwich, an extra special prawn mayonnaise sandwich. I've got Cadbury's hot chocolates and I've got the water pipes to finish off. So it's going to be, you know, that's how we roll at the end of the day. So it's going to be fun, you know. Um, so I'll, I'll put you down for a bit. I'll try and navigate this bridge um, and I'll bring you back at the next lock. Okay. Well, the lock was open. It's another flood lock, which is pretty cool. So it's up, open front and rear. So I'm sailing through. Yeah, which is, I don't want to speak too soon. Steer Andrew. So I think I've got a few more bridges to go under before um, anything happens again. Um, let's hope it keeps playing sailing like this, especially when I'm by myself. It's the first time I've done the locks by myself, that's why I didn't get much footage of the first one. Um, coming down the ladder to get back on the boat, and the boat, you know, went to the other side of the lock, so I had to climb back, back up the slimy ladder. To, um, to bring it back in with the ropes. This is why they see you keep going to the centre line. You know, you can see why, I guess. Point proven. Um, so we're getting there though. It's a learning curve, as they say. So be careful, you know, take your time. It took us about half an hour to do that first lock. Um, but that's probably about right, you know, being solo. So I haven't passed those no, fish jumping. Fantastic. I haven't passed another boat, to be honest. So we'll, we'll see how we go. Nothing moving anyway, a couple of moored boats. Um, not sure what's ahead. I'm not sure if there's a swing bridge or not. We shall see. I shall consult the map. Ah, there's no planning goes into this, you know. It takes a foot out of it, doesn't it, planning? You know, we just turn up, get the revs on and see what happens, you know. See you in a minute. Well, I just had to do a swing bridge there. You can just see it behind us, but a very nice lady asked us if I was on my own. It sounds wrong, doesn't it? But it's a boat and thing. And so offered to do the, um, the swing bridge for us. So um, I wasn't too nice and quick. Uh, as a uh, nomadic crew bot says, 99% of boaters are great, lovely people. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Let's, let's hope the rest of the locks are that easy, or swing bridges or whatever. Shall see. Weather's starting to turn a bit now, so it might not be long until we move up for the night. Well, the weather's changed a bit. We're just. Uh, I just stopped for diesel, but the, the, the channel is closed, unfortunately. So uh, we've got plenty to get where I want to. Um, starting to rain really quite heavy. So uh, just as I was tying up, so all my books got uh, wet. You can see there's quite a bit of weed here. It's a bit of a problem at the minute with the, with the weather we've had. You can see the clouds have just gone over and a bit of a rainbow there in the center. I hope you can see that. I'm just avoiding this weed. So it follows the prop. Sun's coming out again, no? Just as a I get dressed up in me in me waterproofs. It'll probably just be sunny for the rest of the day now, but uh, we'll see how we'll go. I think I'm gonna look for somewhere to moor up. 
shortly. We'll, we'll, we'll see how we go. Still quite a, a wide stretch. If the weather stays nice, we'll, we might as well keep going. But we'll see what happens. Life's an adventure. Well, it's about quarter past four now. It's starting to get a bit nippy. The weather's kind of drawn in a bit. Lovely boarders behind me helped me out with the, the last lock. It was an automatic one with it with a key and instructions that you can't get wrong until I came along and got it wrong. So <laughs> they helped me out. Um, starting to feel tired today. Being overwhelming, you know, with a crane lift. Doing this again for the first time in years. Um, stressful, but you know, a good stress, but still stress, you know, it's fatigue, fatiguing. So I think I'm going to move up. I'm going to get myself sorted out. Obviously, I've still got to tidy the boat up because it's still, everything's all over the place from being moved on a lorry, you know, I put everything on the floor as you saw from the last video. Um, so I'm going to do that, have myself a bit of tea, and then do one of my favourite things in life which is lay hot and cold water pipes, which seems to be taken forever. Um, it's obviously just me, but um, it's like Spaghetti Junction in there. Well, I'm going to get that done today. So I'm going to move further up. Um, you probably just see it. On the right there, you see a narrow boat moored up. So I'm going to move up there, I think. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful. Look at this. This is what it's all about, I tell you. <laughs> Fantastic. It's like, I mean, people say living the dream. I'm feeling very, very lucky right now. I really am. Um, yeah, wow. I think I'll probably sleep like a log tonight, even though it's on an airbed with a boat with no curtains. Um, who cares, you know? So I'll, I'll come back home when I'm moored up, show you where I'm moored up, and I managed to do it successfully. Well, we're moored. That went okay. Um, the arm core here, this is the, the metal stuff that you, you move up to, it's, uh, it's quite high here, uh, probably because with it being a river and so forth. But I've used the chains we've got, um, it seems to be in the middle of nowhere, it's obviously a little road goes past here. But, um, I think it's residential moorings and that kind of thing along here, but uh, there's nothing saying you can't moor. It's in the middle of nowhere. I mean, look at that view, all the way around. Absolutely spectacular. So I'm going to call that a success actually. Bit of a learning curve doing the locks. Had a lot of help off of the boaters which is great. Um, but it's about, what time is it? It's 25 to 5 now so um, I am plum tuckered. So I'm going to get myself sorted out. Um, get myself some tea and then start doing some uh, piping. But I'll just show you where the boat's moored. See it, I've, I've moored it up there. Put the little fenders down, the ones I made, which are working really well. So this is me for the night. So I'm going to settle down, get myself sorted, um, and we'll see how tomorrow goes. Okay, see you then. Right, off we go. 
Then it's going to have to moor up again and close the lock, so it's ready for someone else. The back's sticking out a bit, so I'm just going to reverse and then swing it around rather than scrape the back end off the wall. See, I like these automatic locks. There's a bit of a fishing competition going on on the left hand side here. I think it's around by the uh, Canal and River Trust, by the way. Everyone's at the markings and tabards. We're just coming under the M6 motorway bridge. They're all them crazy people rushing around. Many a time me and Karen have been driving down the M6 or the M62 and look down at the rivers and canals and thinking, my, one day we'll be doing that. And today is actually the day. These are exciting, bewildering. We quite often find a lot of boaters, instead of trying to rent a shed to uh, paint their boat, because they can be hard to come by and quite expensive, they'll just park under a, a motorway bridge like this. A couple of weeks means you're out the rain and the worst of the weather, and it means you can get your boat painted. Not a bad idea, really. Will you look at that for a view? Quarter past nine on Saturday morning. Sun's just coming up. It's a bit dewy. Beautiful. It's so one thing about the UK we have amazing countryside. Beautiful. I don't take a small private mooring arm. Altoft's cut. I can just made that out on the signs. It's lit from behind by the sun. Altoft's cut. So yeah, it must be a little private mirror. We're coming up to another lock now. Um, it's got an amber light on. Hopefully that means it's one of these automated ones again. That would be a result. We shall find out. This is our turning. This is the nearest thing you get to a T-junction on a canal. We're going to be going left. Of the Erin Calder, I believe. I know there's a big sign in front of us, but with my eyes saying I can't read that. So my horn, let people know coming. The lift goes towards the Leeds. Leeds and Liverpool Canal. And it's the, the wind is unfortunately picking up today. You can see the trees on the right really going for it. It doesn't feel hugely windy, but it really affects a boat because of the flat side. So even though it's 13 and a half ish tons, the wind can catch it really easily. Um, so sometimes I'm just having to counter steer, kind of go along the and go, go camera holds over there. Um, just to try and keep her in a straight line. Look here, it's a wide stretch.
just tying off here on one of these um, cables with my centre line just so I can control the boat a little bit better when the, uh, the sluice is open. I'm at a bit of a jaunty angle here, I'm trying to bring the nose in. Oh, there we go, we're going up. You can feel the boat getting pushed back. Apparently initially it will be pushed back and then as the water hits the back wall here and you see it coming down it will then start to push the boat forward and that's why you need the centre line to help control your boat in the lock This is where, when you're in a lock, this is where you can really smell the fumes of the, uh, the engine um, but you've got to keep the engine running just in case you need to, you know, use the power to control the boat in some way, like keeping away from the sill, that kind of thing, so you, you do not turn your engine off in a lock. And here we are arriving at our new home mooring. Thank you so much everyone for watching and coming along on this, to me, what is an epic journey. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Please feel free to share the video and please comment. I love answering your comments. I look forward to seeing you all again soon on Buzzy's Boaty. Take care everyone. Bye bye now. Still very, very surreal. For seven years in the plan and to actually having having it here. Yeah. It's just yeah, it's great. It's so, really so, Yes. Yes, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> See you later.